Do the words equatorial mount send shivers down your spine? Well, you're not alone. And in this video, we're going to restore this neglected equatorial, and then we're going to learn how to use it. This is actually an Orion Skyview Deluxe EQ. This is a very nice equatorial from, from my research. And this has spent a lot of time, unfortunately, in a, in a place where there was a lot of cigarette smoke, so there's a lot of residue on it. Uh, also, it was around a lot of dogs, so it may have been uh, peed on a lot. Uh, you can see there is a little bit of damage to some of the metal, some corrosion. And down here in the accessories tray, uh, it's seen better days. It actually has some rust on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble this whole thing and clean it and make it good as new. We'll start the cleaning process with the accessories tray. Let's remove the old rusty screws. I've found that Dawn Dish Soap is a great starter for getting rid of that first layer of grime. I'm going to use this paper towel to see if I got rid of most of the uh, cigarette smoke residue. It leaves a, a really strong uh, brown coating. The camera overheated, so I moved it into the shade. Unfortunately, there is some surface rust that we have to see. My ultimate goal is to get rid of almost all the rust that I can find. Uh, that means in a lot of these parts, it's going to be taking it down to bare metal. And of course, when we're all done with that, uh, I will be painting it with an enamel. Actually, it'll be an enamel with a primer built in. This turned out really nice. Looks brand new. Okay, so here is the equatorial mount tripod, and we're going to totally disassemble it and clean it. So cue the disassembly montage. It's hard to tell because the aluminum here is anodized with a gold color, but there actually is a fairly thick layer of uh, essentially what is cigarette smoke on here. And I've, through experiment, found that the best way to attack that is to first use simple green. And then once you've got the most of it gone, then you go with a final attack with uh, isopropyl alcohol. And you keep cleaning it until the paper towels no longer come back with a brown coating. Many parts of the mount were actually already sealed, and I found that they didn't have a lot of cigarette smoke on the inside. So here we're just going to be wiping down mostly the outside parts that were exposed to any kind of uh, cigarette smoke. We can do a partial reassembly of the base so that it's going to be able to basically stand on its uh, its own feet and that'll help uh, wash. The weight shaft that you see here was still actually pretty shiny. I think that was a, basically a chrome coating on that, uh, but it did have cigarette smoke that needed to be cleaned. This mount has a unique feature. It's basically a see-through polar axis. There I am, I pulled the cap off and I'm cleaning it. Um, now the, the insides of this were relatively cigarette smoke free. Now I am removing and cleaning that cap again. And uh, 
in the next video I'll be showing you how to use that little uh, see-through feature for aiming it. Uh, here we have an old label, I think it might have been an old price tag, and I had to actually chip it off and then wipe it down with alcohol uh, to get most of it off, but I think you'll see that uh, in the end I actually had to get some goo gone. Now we have to disassemble the legs. Now you can see these have some kind of weird film of grit, corrosion, and goo on them. The cigarette smoke and the dog pee was pretty powerful on the legs, especially as it got towards the bottom of the legs. So I'm going to have to basically carefully clean each and every part of these legs. I'll be basically wiping down the whole external part of all of those three subsections. Here you can see I keep checking the paper towels to see if I've gotten all of the brown off of that. That's the cigarette smoke coming off. Each of the leg sections had grooves in it, and I'm using this green wedge with a paper towel and some alcohol to basically clean out all those little grooves. And you'll see I do that on uh, each and every one of those uh, the subparts. So the lower portion of the tripod legs was covered in a layer of grime, some kind of uh, mixture of, I think, cigarette smoke and perhaps dog urine, something like that. But there's really only one way to find out, so. Oh, it's neither one. And so I took off these uh, bits and pieces, and I think we're gonna try to clean them in the ultrasonic cleaner. So let's give that a try. We're gonna go ahead and put this tab inside the ultrasonic cleaner. Now we have to straighten this. Much better. Now I'll just do this to the other ones. All cleaned up. So I took all of the rusty screws and bolts and I let them soak in CLR overnight. Um, in the past I've used that to remove a lot of the surface rust. Um, it works pretty good in this case. So we'll clean them up and see what we got. I've wrenched all the CLR out of here with water and shaken it up a lot to get rid of all the big stuff. And now we're going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner for just a, a quick clean, see if anything else comes out. Alright, now we're going to reassemble one of the legs. So we've already put this end on, put the screw in. So we'll put this in like that. Put this in. Attach these two little guys here. They've all been cleaned and de rusted with a CLR solution.
going to tighten this just enough so that there's no really slop between the two. Pretty good. We're going to take this end piece, put the bolt up through there. These have all been de rusted with CLR. All done, now we're ready to put them back on the mount. Each of these legs is held on by a threaded bolt. It has a hex head on one end and it has a big plastic wing nut on the other one. Now at the very top what they essentially do is they squeeze the two ends of the, uh, I guess what you call a shoulder, together. Uh, it's a bit of a friction fit but it works really well for this. All right, now we're going to put the tray in. All right, we're going to lift this up and attach it. We're going to use these new screws. It's a combination of a short thumb screw with a, a little kind of a collet washer and a wing nut. Okay, so we're going to let it slide tight to the extents without falling off the table, obviously. And we're going to tighten it. All right. Very nice. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, put a telescope on this. And so here we have it, the finished product. This Orion Deluxe Equatorial Skyview mount is all cleaned, it's all refurbished, it works wonderfully, it's balanced perfectly. We have sitting on top, we have an Orion telescope, how fitting. And you know, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to set this up and how to use it. And I'm also going to talk about how to unleash the greatest feature of an equatorial mount. All that in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Clear skies, everybody.